Utah is not immune to dealing with a lot of mental health issues and emotional crisis. The Attorney General's Office, um, both here in Utah as well as in Colorado, started conversations about wanting to implement a tip line very similar to the tip line that Colorado implemented after the Columbine shooting. And as our state talked more and more about it, they really wanted that tip line for school safety, but they also wanted to address mental health issues in our youth here in the state of Utah. And so it became a much bigger idea than just a tip line that goes to law enforcement, but also have live therapeutic dialogue um, about mental health issues or other stressors or emotional um, crisis in someone's life. The Safe UT app is a text app in which uh, students K through 12 as well as higher education in the state of Utah can um, either submit a tip to their school anonymously, could be anything from you know a bullying issue or a drug use issue all the way up to guns at school. There's also the option to do a live chat, and so that's just a back and forth therapeutic dialogue with the clinician. I knew nothing about the suicide domain uh, coming into this project. Uh, so it was, it was really eye-opening. I had asked uni about things like, do kids call it the suicide hotline? And the response was no, kids never call it the, the hotline. And the reality is, is, is texting is really the language of today's youth. There's uh, four main areas of the overall system. There's the mobile uh, application, there's the desktop app that the counselors use, then there's also a, uh, a portal for the educators, and then there's the, the back-end services that everything communicates with. So in the design of the application, we really tried to figure out what was the easiest, quickest way to get them in and get them getting the support they need. Um, submitting a tip is a little bit more in-depth, but that's you're submitting something to the school. So that's going to require a little bit more information, but we only require, uh, I believe, school and a quick blurb on what's going on. All the other fields are optional, so they can just fly right through and submit that if they need to. For the chats, that was kind of the other thing that makes it super easy and quick, is you, you open the app, you hit chat, you, and you're in basically a texting interface similar to iMessages or messages on Android. And you can just tap send, it'll say tip received, and within three minutes, um, sometimes even less, uh, you can get a response. On the, on the back end part, there are counselors that are running the desktop application 24-7. And as soon as a new encounter arrives, they get a, an alert. And then of course when, uh, when new, even if the encounter is existing and new messages come in, the same thing happens, there's an alert that comes in that a new message came in. One of the nice things about the, the application is that it now allows the crisis counselors really to deal with multiple chats at the same time before they were really limited to kind of one-on-one -on -one and, and that's been, that had been a struggle, that was a major pain point for them. We realized really quickly was a challenge as we were rolling out the Safe UT app was the ability to, to do some of the basic kind of clinical and therapeutic uh, skills over a text message versus being on the phone versus being in person. Over text message you lose all nonverbals. And so um, we had to find ways, how do we develop rapport with the youth in a way that's helpful and effective and, bring, and kind of engages them quickly so we don't lose them because it's really easy to just stop texting. Um, and then how do we assess risk or how do we assess someone's mental health or their current emotional state just using words that are typed out on our screen um, and, and then really be able to engage in this really nice therapeutic dialogue where people feel like they're getting what they need. A lot of crisis work is being able to uh, make a connection really quickly with someone and then be there in that moment with them, in the emotion with them, and then help them kind of de-escalate out of that and come up with a what am I going to do now um, kind of plan moving forward. And so learning how to use technology to do that has been um, actually really exciting and a great challenge for us. And I think we've developed some kind of our own best practice, if you will, in ways that we found really effective in doing that in a text message fashion. We launched the Safe UT app a couple years ago. I think we were the first high school to initially roll it out. And 
Uh, we've helped since then a lot of other high schools and school districts, superintendents help bring it on at each of their schools statewide. It's a utility that I think all schools should be using, not only in the state of Utah, but, but you know, something that really should be looked at and expanded nationwide with the increase in, in mental health and depression and anxiety that we're seeing with, with youth today. We've had a tremendous amount of success with students utilizing it. In fact, I think we're um, one of the high, highest utilized schools in the state uh, as far as the Safe UT app goes. Um, but it's been, a, it's been a tremendous utility for us and a uh, big benefit to students and us as staff. And we've seen a lot of positive gains in using it. Microsoft had just bought a development um, piece for developing an iOS and Android from a single code base it's called Xamarin Forms. It was actually our first foray into this new technology and it really allowed us to cut down on development time dramatically to be able to take something that would require almost, what, two, three different languages for the different platforms into one that we knew and have used for, you know, the past decade, being able to develop that. And it, it runs on Android and iOS, and it's been, it's been great to be able to do that because it allows us, again, to get new stuff in more quickly. Thank you for calling the Crisis Line. How can I help you today? The rewards to me were when I have teachers coming up to me and saying, thank you, you saved my, my student's life or parents coming up to me and saying the same thing, thank you, you saved my kid's life. That's the best reward. I have six kids knowing that I'm developing something that's going to help them, um, as well as friends and family, has been, a, it's just been amazing to be a part of that. It's really cutting edge. Not a lot of places are doing something like this, um, you know, this kind of technology and, and pairing it with mental health. And so it's really rewarding to have a, a new place where people feel comfortable reaching out for help. So it's extremely rewarding to be able to be a part of that and be a part of developing something that truly can be impactful to our community and to people's lives.